guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for coming back today I'm going to be talking to you about some reasons why you may not be passing your anklets if you haven't already please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below so you can join my family and also hit the notification button so you'll never miss another video from me again on this channel I talk about a lot of nursing topics but I also do some beauty hair makeup and vlogging but I mostly talk about nursing stuff Whew, I'm already out of breath so as I said before, today I'm going to be talking to you about some reasons why you may not be passing your state board. A lot of my viewers asked me how I was able to pass the NCLEX both when I did my LPN and when I did my RN. So I just wanted to share some of those tips with you guys and also bring some things to your attention that may be hindering your ability to pass the NCLEX. Just a little background on me if you guys don't already know this. Before I began on LPN I was a STNA and then I got my LPN, took the NCLEX and passed on the first try. I also went to the BSN program and passed on the first try. I've already made a video on this if you haven't seen this already. I'll leave a link up here or down in the description so you can check that out. I would say go and watch that video and then come back and watch this video. Anyways, some of the things you can do to help you pass your NCLEX on the first try is number one, don't take a long break after you graduate because the information is fresh in your head. You just took the exit exam and passed it, obviously because if not, you wouldn't have graduated and you have all that information fresh in your head. So don't wait too long to take the NCLEX. Secondly, set a timeline for yourself. Let's say you want to take the NCLEX within the next two months. Let that be your priority. Take a few hours a day, go to the library or go somewhere quiet sit there and practice your NCLEX questions. Some great resources that can help you with this is things like UWorld, Mark Klemek. If you don't know who Mark Klemek is, he is a guy that offers review classes for the NCLEX. There is the ATI. Some schools offer the ATI. The schools that I went to offer the ATI. So those are great resources. There's a lot of different apps too that um, you can download that will help you with some NCLEX style questions. So just go and review those things do it on a daily basis until it's time to take your test and then you can go and take the test and be done with it don't say oh I'm going to take the test and then not have a definite day or time when you plan on taking it because that only makes you lazier for lack of better words to pursue that so if you set yourself on a deadline you know that you have to get there and make that your priority like I said You'll still be able to work in the future. You'll still be able to have fun with your friends. But sometimes you just have to make certain things more of a priority um, at a certain time in your life. Do those practice questions and then go and take your test. Another thing I would say is try not to confuse yourself with too many NCLEX preparation materials. Ask around. Ask your friends, your family, or ask your school. Let them give you one good resource. As I said before, the resource that helped me was the ATI. They have a lot of comprehensive questions on there. I was able to do that. I know some friends who used UWorld and that really helped them because it gives you all the NCLEX style questions. What I don't recommend is you going out and getting 15 to 16 NCLEX study materials because it seems like it should help you but it's actually going to hurt you because you're going to confuse yourself. You feel like you have to read this whole book. You feel like you have to watch the entire video. You feel like you have to do every single question here. At the end of the day, you're just going to confuse yourself. I would say pick one, two, or at most three great resources that you can focus on and then alternate between them. Another thing that also helped me was every night before I went to sleep when I was getting prepared for the NCLEX for about two to three weeks I used to do about 50 questions a night. I know 50 questions sounds a lot but it's really not. Once again this is a sacrifice you have to make. This is a goal you're trying to meet. So every night I did up to 50 NCLEX style questions. It didn't matter what the subject was. I just mixed it up. Up till the day I was scheduled to take my NCLEX. So those are some of the things that really helped me. Everything that I've told you so far are things that are going to help you. The exact opposite of those things are things that are not going to help you. For example, some people like to take a vacation after nursing school. Don't do that. Wait till you pass your state boards before you fly somewhere else. Not only will you be happier on your vacation because you don't have to worry about your state boards. Two, you're not wasting all that time and losing all the information you just got from school. Another thing that I would say makes people not pass their NCLEX is 
as I said before, they try to confuse themselves with so many different study materials to the point where they get confused. By the time it's time to take the test, they don't remember anything and they freeze because you have to understand that these NCLEX style questions and practice study guides, they're just helping you to give you an idea of what to expect. So you have to keep an open mind when you go to take the test. Focus on the questions and not those other study materials or how the question was worded. Sometimes you can get the same questions from three different places. They're asking the exact same things, but it's worded differently. So if you freak out because the question you've seen before doesn't match this one, that also may get in the way of you passing. If you've taken the NCLEX before and you weren't successful and you're practicing to take it again, maybe change your study habit. If you used to study at home, go to a quiet place. If you used to meet up with friends, maybe go by yourself. If you used to study with the kids running around, maybe get a babysitter. The main point I'm trying to make here is focus. Make it look like your life depends on it because other people's life depends on it. Am I right? Give yourself this time to just sit and study even if it's for two months. Tell yourself that for the next two months I'm not going to do anything but study for my state boards so I can pass. Once you do that, you will see that you are going to be more confident. With confidence, you can walk into that exam center and know that you're going to ace the NCLEX. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope I didn't leave anything out. If you just graduated or if you graduated a while back and you're looking to take your NCLEX, please take these tips into consideration. I wish you all the best. And if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the description box below. Also, guys, please let me know what kind of contents you want to see next. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!